and this is Rieger. I'm the speech teacher at Western, and some of you know me. Um, so as the speech teacher, I help kids with a few different things. Um, sometimes I see kids to help them with saying their sounds, like S's and Z's and L's and R's are sometimes hard for kids to say. Um, sometimes I see kids to help them with their language skills. And sometimes I see children to help them with stuttering. And that is what Olivia and Sophia have been coming to speech to see me for. Um, sometimes we call stuttering bumpy speech because that's kind of how it sounds. It sounds like bumps. And we are very lucky to have Olivia and Sophia with us today because they are going to talk with you about stuttering. And the reason that they want to do that is so that you understand it a little bit better. They want you to know things that are helpful and things that are not helpful to them. And I want you all to show your absolute best Western pride today because <coughs> Olivia and Sophia are experts on stuttering. And we always want to treat an expert on a topic with lots of respect. Also, we know that for anybody in here, it's not easy to get up in front of a large group and talk to lots of people. And not only are Olivia and Sophia doing that, but they're doing something that can be extra hard for them at times, which is talking. And we all can think of things that are hard for us, right? For me, there's lots of things, but I'm a really terrible singer. And if I had to get up here and sing in front of all of you right now, <laughs> it would not be good. And you know what? It would probably be even harder than what it normally is for me because I would be a little bit nervous. And it's kind of a similar situation for Olivia and Sophia today. They may have some extra bumps in their talking because they're presenting, and that's not an easy thing to do. But one of their most important messages today is that it's okay if they have bumps because bumps are okay. Stuttering is okay. And another important message is on the screen here, and I want you to think about this the whole time they're talking today. And that's to listen to what they're saying, not how they're saying it. Okay? And also, just as they talk, be thinking about questions or comments that you might have because at the very end, we'll have time for questions and comments. No. Okay? Alright, so I now introduce to you Olivia and Sophia, the very, very brave presenters that we have today. Stuttering. What do you think you need to know? By Olivia, uh, by Olivia Hint. Wondered what what 
is stuttering. Why do people stutter? Who stutters? What does it feel like? What, what can you do, do about it? We have your answers. What in the world is stuttering? Not be, 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 being able to talk the, the way you want to. It happens when the parts of speech me mechanism, including the lungs, cord, tongue, lips, and teeth, don't work together in a coordinated way. What does it sound and look like? Repeating a sound or word. Holding out a sound for too long. Getting completely stuck. Not being able to get at any sound out. Sometimes different facial and body movements happen when a person stutters such as rocking hand motions, bouncing up and down, blinking eyes, and tightness in the face. The, these are called secondary characteristics to stutter. Usually, the harder a person tries not to stutter, the more they stutter. Stuttering does not anything to do with, with, with how smart and smart I am. Probably because I'm nervous. Stuttering is not my fault. <clears throat> what causes stuttering? We don't know for, for, for sure. Scientists and the researchers continue to look for a cause. We do know that genetics can contribute Sixty percent of the people who stutter have a family member who stutters also. What does stuttering sometimes feel like to us? Frustrating. Embarrassing. It's worse when I'm reading, 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 reading aloud. It's worse when I feel rushed or when I'm scared. I don't feel in, in control. Imagine riding a bike on a bumpy hill road without any handlebars. Who stutters? We all do. Some of us just just stutter more than, more, more than others. Smart and successful people, including doctors, actors, lawyers, scientists, athletes, teachers, business people, singers, and writers. Many famous people. Famous people who stutter. James Earl Jones, Broadway and TV star who plays the voice of Darth Vader. Joe Biden, Vice President of the United States. John Stott, Stott a very successful, successful TV news, news reporter. Marilyn Monroe. She was a famous actress. Mm -hmm. Darren Sproles, NFL star player. We have a picture of him over on the poster there. King George the Sixth, King of England from 1937 to 1952. Known for his courage and radio broadcast during World War II, the movie's King's Speech is about him. The Slazar Arm 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 Season 12, our American Idol contestant. He did not let his stuttering define him. His success had the entire country talking about his We're gonna watch a video right now of Lazaro auditioning for American Idol. And one thing that I want you guys to know is that stuttering sounds different from one person to another. So Lazaro.
Chicago is someone who stutters pretty severely. You're going to hear lots of bumps in his talking, and also you're going to see how his stuttering sometimes even affects the movements of his body. And those are called secondary characteristics, like what Olivia was talking about. And be watching for what happens when he thinks. 